Air travel is already off to a bad start. More than 200 flights have been canceled at airports in the Northeast. Here in the Capital Region, Albany International Airport reports a few cancellations and delays. Ben Amy has more on how travelers are dealing with the weather. I would have left last night. Travelers are watching for four little words at the airport today. On time, delayed, or canceled. But despite the heavy travel, the Albany International Airport had flyers moving at a good pace this morning. Usually there are really long lines. Today there isn't. Airport officials say any delays today won't originate from Albany International, but rather from hubs like Newark, Philadelphia, and Baltimore. And travelers say it's the fear of those delays that had them trying to change their flights early on. I actually called Southwest yesterday and was going to change my flight because a lot of my friends with U.S. Airways, they sent out an advisory and they changed our flights. But Southwest had no advisory, so they weren't going to let me change it for free, so I was like, no. My flight was scheduled for today, and I, I scheduled it uh, last night, basically, so that I could avoid all this, uh, this commotion. <laughs> the airport expects 4,000 flyers to head through the gates today. For the latest flight information, travel experts say to check with your airline or the airport's website. It's a good idea to check directly with your airline 24 hours before your flight to make sure it hasn't changed. And while you're doing that, sign up for the text and email alerts directly from the airline so you get any changes as soon as possible. Reporting in Colony, Ben Amy, News Channel 13.